Hey guys, this is Rick. Very, very quick update on the wine. I've just decanted all my wine off and uh, I've managed to create this little lot. Ta da! Line them all up. And uh, I've even got my own label. I don't know if you can, hang on, let's find one. Here we go. Okay. Rick Van Man Brewery, wild plum wine. It's got a, a classic Renoir on it. Vintage 2000, uh, bottled 20th of Jan 2010. And uh, we basically got all these bottles. And uh, that was just purely from that one five gallon container. I've actually given away four bottles as well. So uh, there was a few more there. And it is absolutely gorgeous wine, as you, as you sort of probably saw in my uh, video yesterday. And um, anyway, so I just sort of uh, thought I'd sort of show them off. And I can't believe how simple it, it actually is to make this. These, this wine, it's really, really absolutely gorgeous wine. And it only contains four, four ingredients, and that's water, fruit, uh, in this case plums, uh, wild plums, uh, a bit of yeast and some sugar, and that's it. There are no, um, you know, there are no sulf, sulf, sulfites, sulfates, uh, and things like that that uh, the manufacturers put in their wine. This is absolutely a really pure natural product. And uh, I had two glasses of wine yesterday. Actually, I had slightly more than two glasses of wine yesterday. Uh, I woke up absolutely clear as a bell this morning. So um, no hangovers, no uh, sort of feeling groggy or anything like that. So uh, I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend if you want to get into this, it is just awesome because uh, like I say, the amount you get, I mean, there is, I mean, not only that, this is, it tastes like good quality wine, the sort of wine you'd spend sort of, you know, five, at least five, maybe six, seven pounds a bottle on. And if you times that by about, uh, the, you know, the 20 odd bottles I've got here, uh, that's a phenomenal saving, even when you take into account the, you know, the cost of the demijohns in the first year. So I was, I was just, I've no idea why I made a video of this. I just, I was so dead chuffed with the, um, with the results that uh, I thought I'd just make a really quick video log. So there you go, homebrew wine. Thoroughly recommend it. I really, really do because I am so amazed at how well this has turned out and how clear it is and how nice it tastes. Um, and I thoroughly recommend anyone uh, to get into it. So anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have fun, bye.